physical fitness tests, pull-ups, sit-ups, a mile-long run, and a nine-foot-long jump over a ditch. A selection of well-tried tortuous feats to sort out the men from the boys. If you pass these tests, you must then take a medical and a written general knowledge exam. But the first test that everyone has to pass is the height test. Unlike other army regiments, the Gurkha height requirement is 1.6 meters, or 5 foot 3. Bachan fails the height test. He's disappointed, but he's still growing and young enough to try again. There's a note of disappointment at the Railway Institute as well. Sapan's band were hoping to audition girls for their new video. And so far, no one's turned up. Eventually, three local girls arrive for audition, and the mood changes. <laughs> Now that the cast are in place, Action. Sapan's band can finally begin their shoot at the station. Music. The word on the street is that rock ballads are in at the moment. A successful video could propel their song into the charts. In the storyline, Sapan plays a photographer whose girl is stolen from him by his best friend. Cut. <laughs> Action! It's a classic story and a universal story of unrequited love set in the hills. Cut. And like many Indian movies, is the DHR which provides the film's perfect romantic location. Every day after the last train has left, Nima Yelmo leaves his worldly life behind on Kursiung Station to return to his real love, the Buddha. Even after a full day's work, he spends hours in prayer and meditation at his monastery. For 20 years, Nima has struggled to balance the job of a ticket inspector on the railway with the religious duties of a monk. <laughs> Nima knows that the solution to his dilemma would be a complete renunciation of his worldly life. But only his sense of duty has prevented him from taking that final step. Today, in Darjeeling, St. Joseph's College is publishing the results of the entrance exam. So Madhu and Sita are excited, and also a little apprehensive. 
एक लड़का होगा कि नहीं वो दूसरा उन्हीं से पैसा मिल जाएगा कि नहीं वो दोनों मेरा चिंता With a thousand students trying for a place at St. Joseph's, Mado needs to be in the top 5%. And if he's been successful, his role number will be somewhere on this list. His number is there. Mado has passed the entrance exam and been offered a place at St. Joseph's College. Darjeeling. Today, I'm happy my girl. The reaper was there. He was happy. और ये वो ईमाल है ना वो आशा तो इसने खुद पूछा कैसा हो गया रब आशा हो गया रब मेरे को विश्वास ही नहीं हुआ कि ये एग्जाम में पास हुआ है क्यों क्यों विश्वास नहीं हुआ क्योंकि ये अभी तक सेकंड होता होकर आया है ना तो एन एनपी तो बहुत बड़ा इंग्लिश स्कूल है तो कैसे हो गया ये तेज सांस करना है ना तो Sita's joy is tempered by the fact that now she has to find the money for the fees. But she has a plan. She's going to ask the college principal to waive them. But the college is closed. The building has been requisitioned for the counting of the votes. In Darjeeling, two weeks after they voted, Supporters of Gorkaland have gathered for the result. They remain confident their Gurkha candidate is going to win. <laughs> Gorkaland candidate Mr. Jaswant Singh has won by a quarter of a million votes. However, in fighting for an independent Gorkaland, he'll find himself a lone voice in the Indian parliament. Now is the time to save a victory, and that wouldn't be complete without a photo of the winning candidate and the steam train. Sita has an appointment with the principal. She's going to ask him to waive Madhu's fees. Although her son is not so enthusiastic about asking for charity. If Sita doesn't get the fees waived, it means that half of her annual income will have to go towards Madhu's education. And then she would have almost nothing left for her other four sons. Mother Tava Tava got my lady, so Nanny Tava go. Mother Chancha, Tava Line. It's a good. You'll do what we can, whatever way we can support you financially and otherwise, so that you can do your studies well and fulfill your mother's dreams. Puncha? Okay, Puncha, not me. Against all the odds, Sita's done it. The principal agrees to waive Madhu's fees. Her eldest son, a student at St. Joseph's College. She can hardly believe it. And she can't wait to share the news with her friends on Darjeeling Station. As tradition dictates, she hands out sweets so that others can share in her happiness.